What's up everybody, welcome to Pwn Tech. Today I want to talk about how to create an ETNX GUI wallet and uh, some functions that you can use. So first we'll pick your language and what we want to do is create a new wallet. So you touch that and then you change the wallet name to whatever you want. So for instance, uh, if I wanted the name to be Pwn Tech, and that would be the seed. So you want to write this down. And then you create a password. So let's just say Pwn Tech 1234. And then that's done. And now you can connect to a node. You can use this node right here, nodeelectronero.org, with this port, or you can use another node, which is 149.28.114.38 with a 2222.2. Then you're set. And now your new wallet has been created and it's syncing. And so what you have is essentially an area to put where you want to send. Here's some advanced options, which will allow you to pick your ring size. You can move this. That's default. If you have problems, you could try to sweep the unmixable amounts. If you want to have your wallet address, you can see it here. So this is the QR code. And you should have a wallet address up here so this is your wallet's address and if you use the QR code it's the same thing you can see all your history of transactions that will show up here let's say if you received the payment or if you sent ETNX out solo mining does not work at the moment with light wallets so don't bother and finally in settings you have this area where you can change the nodes if you choose to if let's say this node is down you can go and log on to another node that is trusted um, if you decide that you want to back up the wallet you will click settings seed keys and you enter the password And now this area will see the seed where you should copy down and you can copy down your keys. This would be your spendable wallet. So that's how you could back up your wallet just in case anything happens to the software. And then on top of that you have a balance right here and an unlock balance right here. This section tells you that you're synchronized to the blockchain and this is the blockchain height that you're synchronized at. Now, after using this for a while, I found that it's pretty good, it's very useful, it's able to do the transactions and I get my transactions pretty fast, but I have uh, encountered a little bit of lag here and there, but overall I had a really great experience with this wallet. If you want to try it out for Windows 64, then feel free to download it. I'll provide the links in the description and uh, check it out for yourself. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thank you for watching. Check you guys out next time.